yeah, Katie's responsible for loop dogs. And previously I was always like, oh, Katie, yeah, she's just a mom who has a full-time job who just manages on the side. She now works for Tidepool. Whoa! Yeah, legitimately to make loop like an FDA approved app. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Perfect, thanks for that. Today, Tidepool released a new blog post that, um, let me just read you the statement. Tidepool has kicked off a project to build and support an FDA regulated version of Loop to be available on the iOS App Store, intended to work with commercially available insulin pumps and CGMs. That's huge. Now to take you back a little bit, if you've been on this channel and seen my looping video, which I'll leave right up here, it was actually filmed outside the home of Katie DeSimone. She's the one that got me onto looping. And if you don't know this, she's the one that manages Loop Docs. She's basically the creator of it, the one who manages it. And if you've been part of our Facebook group, you've definitely seen her reply to some comments. I haven't gotten to this part in the Die Badass tour, but she deserves an award. Now, the other side of Loop is Pete Schwamm. He is the creator of the Riley Link. This is the actual communication device that talks between your phone and your Loop to make this do-it-yourself version of a closed Loop system. And they are now working at Tidepool, a nonprofit, to make an FDA-approved version of this do-it-yourself application. It's incredible. There's a lot to unpack here. Now, why this is a huge step is that a lot of things preventing the Loop community from expanding and changing more people's lives, and it has changed my life overnight and many others, is because there's a few barriers that are put up. One is that it's actually do-it-yourself. You can't just go to the App Store and download it. There's all these steps you have to follow and actually become an Apple developer, which sounds crazy, but that's how you do it. So one of Tidepool's intentions is to make it so you can actually go to the Apple Store and just download Loop. Now on top of that, the biggest barrier right now is that you have to find old pumps. That is basically the Medtronic 715, the 7... It's been a while since I've said this. 715, 720, 721, either way. It's on the back of my shirt, which is why I have it there. And now, because in partnership with the JDRF Open Protocol Initiative that started in August 2017, which Tidepool actually helped draft, their intention is basically Tidepool to be responsible for maintaining Loop the application and then work with commercial pump systems who would be able to have pumps they could get through insurance that would be in warranty to then start looping. And that would basically open up who could loop. You could go to your doctor and ask for a prescription uh, to, for loop and join the community. Exciting and maybe more subtle point is that Tidepool is a nonprofit and this benefits everyone. Um, something that subtly happened with the G6 is that the CGM, which had used to go through all of these protocols with the FDA, they became um, instead of being a class 3 device, it became a class 2 device. So now CGM technology advances quicker. And I bring that up because now Tidepool is working with the FDA to talk about software protocol. Loop overall is just software to help manage your basils using an algorithm. And so that's one of the big questions of our future is as we use software to regulate our disease to make healthier, safer patients, how will that look as Tidepool takes the responsibility to push out new versions of Loop? Will it always be uh, a talk with the FDA? Are they able to push things out? Does there always have to be research? But that's extremely exciting because that's the future of our disease is having more information, being our CGM, hopefully with Apple Watch, being able to take our pulse, taking the weather, taking our heart rate, having all that brought in together and pairing that with research on how it impacts blood sugars to create a more and more refined algorithm to make, to reduce the burden of our disease. And for me, personally speaking, I can say that it definitely changed my life overnight. I have had 
pretty much 90% reduction in hypos while going to sleep. Um, my highs are a lot milder and it's able to keep up with my crazy lifestyle of biking, you know, 80 miles a day and keeping me safe at night. And I feel very, very safe with this system, with the loop system, but to be able to actually have this be a commercially available option that doctors can pres begin to prescribe to patients will really, really change our entire community. And so it is incredible to see that Katie, who has been volunteering her time as a to maintain Loop Doc, she's a full-time mom. She does this all on the side. She's not gonna be able to do this full-time to have Pete, who developed the riding link in his spare time, to now have him do this full-time. That's incredible, but there's a lot of people to thank that made us be able to reach this point. So really anyone who has contributed to the We Are Not Waiting movement in any capacity, thank you for building a huge foundation that someone like Tidepool can build off of to anyone that's donated Tidepool to the Helmsley Charitable Trust. They're helping um, with some of the funding behind this. Uh, the JDRF Open Protocol Initiative, as I mentioned before, which started in August, that's going to help um, unlock commercial pumps that can tie into software like this. And anyone who has made this possible behind the scenes or publicly, this is, this is the game changer. Um, I'll leave the link below to the press release, to Tidepool, check them out. Um, I'm hoping more organizations get behind them, but this is huge. And Katie, congrats. Um, I'm super happy to see you be part of our community full time. Um, yeah, that's all, check it out. This is so exciting. Remember that you can do anything and go anywhere. See everyone. Is that your middle name? Yeah. That's my maiden name. It's a good one. That's my mom's maiden name. Really? Yeah, really. Maybe we're related. Uh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Totally. Are you? Oh, stop! <laughs> oh, I hate the day. Uh, uh.